Hello and welcome to this new Hostify video. My name's Alex and today we're going to be having a look at the Ubiquiti Edge Router X. This router has been on the market for a number of years now and it's the most popular router well, I can think of that Ubiquiti makes. It's a very cost effective device and very powerful with a lot of features as well. It currently retails for $59 in the US and about £50 in the UK and it has all the features of a full blown Edge router that will cost three or four times as much. Admittedly the power uh, like the performance of the device isn't quite as good as the more expensive ones, but for a, a full feature set, uh, you, you can't really go wrong. It's got a lot of flexibility for PoE and power, so you can power the device from the rear barrel connector, so it's 12 volts, or you can power the device by 24 volt PoE on port zero, and then you can you can even fan out another device such as a well what, a nano station. You could power. Uh, if you've got a Wisp as your internet provider, or you could power up one of the older uh, UAPAC lights, uh, which I've I've done uh, bef before, uh, off port four, and then you could have an all-in-one device that could, um, well, from one one mains plug, you could power the router and then power Wi-Fi AP as well, which is perfect. So in this video, we're going to have a look at the hardware of the Edge Router X. I'm going to open the box as well because we bought a brand new one. We're also going to look at how to add the device to UISP and all the features that are exposed within the GUI. And then we're going to have a quick run through the uh, Edge OS interface and get that set up in a basic configuration as if we've got a ISP. In other videos coming soon, we're going to be setting up a PPPoE client and PPPoE server. Because we've got two Edge routers, we're going to connect them together and do that. But that's for another video for another time. Um, but we're now going to go over the hardware of the Edge Router X. So here we have the Edge Router X. I purchased this from the Ubiquiti EU store for around £50. Pounds. It's a very simple box. This device has been out for quite a while now, so it's pretty much what we're used to. I've got my safety first little foldy knife. I'm going to give this an open. Put that away. Open the box. First thing we see is the QR code little sticker card. Um, you can scan that and get a manual. Some warrant information, and then we've got the Edge Router X itself. There are five ports on the front, PoE in, PoE out, and then uh, some LAN ports as well. We've got a ground connector. We've got PoE out on Ethernet 4. It comes with an EU power supply, so I'm currently in the UK, um, so I have to use an adapter, but for this video I'm going to power it from 24 volts PoE. Okay, so I've got the Edge Router X plugged into my network. What I've done is a bit of a weird setup. I've got um, a test lab setup for host high videos basically. So I've got a unified switch here and on port one I've got a, a like a dumb VLAN that doesn't do anything. I'm powering up the edge router off port port one using 24 volts and I've got uh, that's going to ether zero on this on the router and then eth one which is a DHCP client by default is coming to port three. That's coming to the same subnet as this computer's on as well. And then if we go to clients, I can see that there's no IP on this one because it's got a static IP on the router itself by default. My iMac on that IP and then the Edge router's uh, IP address on this one. So I'm going to copy that IP address and log into it. So we've got to show details or visit this website. And we're at the very start of the setup process for an Edge router. So the default username by default is UBNT and UBNT. So UBNT for the username, UBNT for the password. Uh, router is in default config. Do you want to start with the basics of the wizard? We won't do for the time being. Uh, we will allow the stability stats. Uh, this this router is currently slightly out of date. Uh, Hotfix 5 is already um, currently released. So we will what do, what we'll do now is uh, update the software. So go to ui.com forward slash download. And at the very top, we've got the Edge Max section. And then we've got the Edge Router X. So Ubiquiti hasn't updated this download page yet with Hotfix 5. So we're going to go to the community forum instead. And then across to releases. And then we'll deselect all the stable ones and click on Edge Max. Then we've got Hotfix 5. Uh, this came out two weeks ago. It's already uh, GA, so I'm not entirely sure why they haven't added it. So we go download links, Edge Router X, and we'll download that version. It is 73 megabytes in size, so I'll come back once that's done. 
Okay, that's downloaded now. Uh, it's in my downloads folder, so I'm going to go back to the router now. I'll click on system. And then if we scroll down slightly, we've got a bit at the bottom that says upgrade system image. The wording is a little bit weird. Usually we call it upgrade firmware, uh, but they've called it upload system image. So upload a new version. It's in my downloads folder. And then there it is, ERE5209 Hotfix 5. We'll upload that one. These updates can take about 10 more, well, between 5 and 10 minutes, uh, depending on the hardware of the router. So we'll come back once that's done. So once the software is uploaded to the device, it will say you need to reboot the Edge router, which we'll do now. So after a few minutes, the Edge router will come back, uh, and it's pretty much online, ready to go. So before we can connect it to the USB controller, we now need to change the way this router is working at the moment. So at the moment, ETH0 is our WAN, and ETH1 is just a DHB client. Uh, so we need to go into the wizard section and do basic setup. So I'm going to keep our internet port as ETH0. Uh, and we'll say DHCP, enable the default firewalls, DNS servers we'll get from DHCP. Only use one LAN. What that means is all the ports on the router, they're all combined with one LAN. If you're putting this router in a production environment, I would recommend changing the password. Um, but for the time being, this testing purpose, it's only temporary. It's not going to be switched on for that long. I'm going to keep the original users. I'm going to enable the reporting. And we'll press apply. So what it says here, connect the client device, e.g. laptop, to one of the LAN ports. Set the client device to use DHCP to obtain an IP from the router. If DHCP server is not allowed, such as IP. And then it says apply changes, and we will do that now. So reboot. Yes, I'm sure. And on my Unify network, this is just specific to my network, um, or my setup. I'm going to set. I'm going to change the port 1 to pick up an IP from the main network I've got. And then I'm going to change port 3 to do VLAN 12. That's like a bridge. Uh, that's that's the LAN side of the edge router coming into my Unify network. And I'm going to change the SSID that I'm on, which is just Hostify, to use VLAN 12. And then I'll come back once that's done. All those changes have gone through fine. I uh, just tested I could get to the edge router. So it's put us on 192.168.1.1. Just going to log back in now. It took a good few minutes to sort of get itself going again. So though, just to recap, we've got ETH0, which is being powered from the Unify switch I've got. Uh, so it's on the main network I've got on this Unify setup. It's connected to a UXG Pro. And on port 3, I've got VLAN 12, which is bridging itself to my um, Hostify SSID for testing purposes. So on the wizard, it's put itself as ETH0, which is the internet one, it's picked up DHCP from the network and we're now going to set up the UISP connection. So for UISP, grab your UISP key from your controller, paste it in the UISP key box and then click save. So after a little while the Edge Router X will appear, you click on the globe icon in the top right hand corner and press go to list. I've got my power beam that was offline for quite a while and then you've got the Edge Router X now on the list so I can click uh, assign. I'll assign it to my Hostify test site. And we go to Devices and then Wired. So I've got some offline devices. I've got the USB router, USB switch, and I've got the Edge Router X. So in the configuration screen, there isn't a massive amount for the Edge Router devices. There's more configuration for the USB router and switch because that is the main GUI for them. However, there are some things you can do. You can in a new GUI anyway. Uh, you can monitor the interfaces. Uh, I think you can monitor the PoE. Uh, well, actually, you can't change the PoE on this one. You can select which ones are local, which ones are VLAN aware. You can name the interfaces, the main port. It's very, very basic stuff um, on here. Uh, that's about it. You can set up a PoE tunnel or another VLAN. Um, you could, that's how you set that up. Uh, I've got the overview. There's some stats, which doesn't tell you. Well, there's some inf there's good information here. There's local about each port and what it's doing. 
go back a page there is more information on the old details if we click on old detail there's a lot more information here we've got uh, more graphs ports list a bit easier to use there's log events and then we've got some settings for roots OSPF the DHP servers which is completely missing from the, the new GUI unfortunately got services uh, settings system speed test this speed test doesn't actually work that well yet the, um, the speed test that you so you can set the edge router as the gateway for the USB uh, controller and then it allows you to do an actual speed test this is completely different to this um, which has been like this for quite a while there's some logs, outages, stats, MAC address tables, that sort of thing backup files and you can download the backup files, more actions you could so yeah, set it as the gateway restart it, change firmware, that sort of thing there's a lot more configuration to be done from this actual local interface, which is a lot better. That's a quick look at the Edge Router X, how to add it to UISP, the hardware, and how to get the initial setup working. There's a lot more configuration, which we'll dive into at some stage. Uh, there's this configuration we can go into with PPPoE servers, how to get Triple PoE working on the, on the device for a start, uh, user management, VPN. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of stuff that will, is coming very soon to the Hostify YouTube channel. If you'd like to learn more about Hostify, have a look at Hostify.com. You can contact the team at support at Hostify.com and you can find us on Twitter at Hostify underscore net. If you like this sort of video, hit subscribe for a lot more Ubiquity content coming very soon. Thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex and we'll see you again next time.